Hello, welcome back to my channel, Cassie's Gaming. Today I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2, and please subscribe, and let's play. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy haired European. Figures he got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot out of guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Don't wanna let him get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Is that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. I'm going to skip this bit because I already went through this bit on my last video. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. I think so. Pretty sure I drove by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. 
Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Brompton. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's are going to hold Jack Ranch. For all the money we cost, we must have sent him here so we couldn't get to it. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. I hear a dog barking. It's just my dog. She's barking about something. This way. Let's keep on. I know. You won't care once we get the boy back. Skin crawl. Seeing better than we are. 
the stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Problem grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Someone coming! Hi! I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you, Mr. Bronte. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go! We have a big camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm I'm sorry. What for? For that. 
for taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantapola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellas get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They said he was good. Italian. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. You got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? Thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? Did you ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Orson. Thank you. Boys, we got, we got some work, some work to, do. to do. Interesting, Interesting work. work. But first, first let's, let's have, have a drink. A drink. <laughs> we, we got, got Jack, Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I'm... I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <laughs> Go be with your family. Hey, make some room for John now. <laughs> Lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. 
no se lo des a nadie. Cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie. Cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Come on, let's leave him play with. You know, boys, there ain't no being saved. Ain't no being lost. Them fights was over long ago. Or never happened. It was only invented to make you feel something out of nothing. Makes no difference. Ain't sure nothing makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out. You was born, you die. In between, you do what you do. 
Ain't no good and ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad and just the length of time between being born and dying. That's all there is. <laughs> ain't no old man judging man. Ain't no heaven. And maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. Come on, Kieran, join in! Oh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Uh, I'll just watch. Suit yourself, then. See it for what the hell it is. Yeah. The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends, my loved ones, a plan. It is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven. Tahiti, Fiji, Australia, the real new world, not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has been in its package, vengeance on. We are gonna be free! Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Doug. See, have Lord, I'm suspicious oh, as you you are. Oh, I'm just trying to give you all your money. Oh, 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 the dog, the truck, find the sign. Find the kitchen, the cow. 
Young Jack again. Well, smile. You gonna get up? But, but, what's wrong, Arthur? You were snoring, that's all. Is save it for the morning.
What is it? How have you How been, Arthur? Okay. okay. You seem well, ever? ever? Yes. yes. Well, well, maybe. maybe. I've, been I've been okay, okay before, 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 but then, then I, make I make a fool, a fool of myself, myself again. again. So do so, I. Uh, I went into town. So did I. If I was, if I was still, still a, a, religious a religious man, man I'd, I'd say there are too many Catholics there, but I've given, given up on all that. Me too, Reverend. I met, I met a monk, a monk there. there. Kind of fellow took me back to my days in college. Is there any purpose to this conversation, Reverend? Not really. But he said the strangest things about all manner of bad things happening in town. Bad things happening in the city. Who would have thought it possible? Well, maybe if you're there, you could have a chat with him. He's hanging about outside the marketplace, collecting alms for the pool. Sounds thrilling. Who's that? Hey, Ivan. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Vandalin was finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous, that horrendous snake, snake has invited us to the ball, ball Cinderella. Cinderella. So my so suggestion is we go and get you a gown. You son of a bitch. Quite enough. Enough. It can be fine. No, 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 no. 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 It can be we are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we're going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. I'm sure that we will find so. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Luca. Luca. I'm afraid, I'm afraid the mayor, the mayor does not allow not guns, guns at official functions, functions after, after last, last year's incident. Look here, we'll, we'll take, take you to Mr. Bronte. Bronte. I believe, I believe he, is he is expecting you. Follow, Follow me, gentlemen. gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. 
We are honored to be here. Alright, that's wonderful, wonderful. Come, come, come this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening, it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the man behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Respect. Jose, Phil, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out about now when you're done. the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Anthony High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Le Mieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. <laughs> oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, <laughs> Confederate Major in the war, <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yeah, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get hit by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, this self-righteousness paper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't talk to friend. Oh, I'm going to help him any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these oh, vulgar people. people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora oh, di guardarti oh, morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy, and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves, and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure, Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, <laughs> gentlemen. Mm, Good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans? Well, we've not made any... Well... We are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. To keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, as a guest? Yes. yes, as my as guest, guest. Ah, do it. Huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go and ingratiate ourselves. Okay, go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. 
You go find us someplace to run. Folks. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Alfred Lafonte. Gilbert Knightley. <coughs> Hello, sir. In French, sir. <coughs> you okay? My lord. <laughs> What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Lend me money when I need it. And when I've got too much, try to lend me more. <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. Lafon? Originally furs. But now swords. Lumber. Glass of champagne. Even maple syrup. My partners and I represent 20, well, more like 23% of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land, and that extends to Saint-Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this, this man, man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Let's say you and me cool off. Come on, sleep, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Oh, Thank you, you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mild, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know every meter? My lord. Right? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Let me say something about Cornwall. Yes, find out what. Oh, hello. 
How you doing? Splendid, as it were. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps dinging. The mayor said he was silent. For the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Leviticus gone. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Anything? I think so. No. no. This town is a waste of time. Maybe, Maybe not. not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money mostly here, of course, man. I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes one. All right. Let's get in. Go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. 
Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting, Interesting times, times. I, I guess. So, what's, so what's next? next? Dancing, Dancing lessons? lessons? Deportment? Deportment? More, More along the lines of armed, armed robbery. robbery. Jose, Jose is handling, handling reconnaissance on the bank. bank. He and he Abigail are going to run some distractions, distractions. see how the law oh, reacts. Yeah. Good. Good. Oh, oh, and I spoke, and I spoke to, to Evelyn Miller. Miller. Fine, Fine man. man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm going to go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Live to see another day. See that? That is how you get a good point. Come on, my turn. Good morning, Arthur. Oh, 